welcome back to the session on the course on electricity magnetism and electronics uh, today's unit is digital electronics okay my name is prakash and working as a lecturer in the department of physics and electronics okay in this session we are going to see about uh, what is logic gates uh, what is the introduction uh, logic gates what is meant by on what is meant by off what are we, what are the terms that we are going to represent uh, Uh, on and off uh, and then we are going to see about uh, boolean algebra why we need uh, boolean algebra what what are the gates that represents the boolean algebra expressions and then we are going to have about the basic logic gates the three gates uh, or the three basic logic gates are and or and or and not gates then we are going to have about, about the universal logic gates and uh, exclusive or and exclusive nor gates like uh, nand gate and nor gates uh, are called as the universal logic gates then we are going to have about the de morgan's theorems de morgan's theorem 1 and de morgan's theorem 2 theorem 2 and then about the half adder and full adder then okay then coming about the logic gates um, a logic gate is nothing but a device or a switch which can be closed or opened okay gate is just a switch that can be used to open or close a, ga a gate has only two possible states like as i said it can be represent either on or off or either one or zero okay uh, in digital electronics we use more often rather than or and off we use uh, one and zero in digital electronics we use more often like uh, uh, rather than on and off we use uh, on is represented with 1 and uh, zero is represented for close no? as you say here one may be used to represent the gate on true s close the high these all are represented with the uh, symbol one or the number one and zero can be represented as off false no opened low okay And coming to this thing, uh, the circuits which are used to perform the switching action are known as the logic circuits. Okay, a switch is nothing but a device which is used to close and open is called as a gate. But if it uh, used to perform specific actions, specific logical action, that can be used as a logic circuit or a logic gate. Okay, the logic gate can be a positive or a negative depending upon the operation it is performing. coming to the importance of boolean algebra why we need boolean algebra in digital electronics means uh, it is crucial uh, for designing and analyzing the circuits okay in uh, analyzing the circuits we need the boolean expressions uh, as it provides the mathematical foundation to understand the logic gates and circuits okay this boolean algebra is used in digital electronics that provides the mathematical foundation for understanding the logic gates Okay, the loss of boolean algebra helps to simplify the uh, larger uh, uh, functions like uh, in terms of um, sop and po sum of product and product of sum expressions into smaller things okay this boolean algebra plays a crucial role in minimizing the size of this uh, expressions boolean algebra consists of three basic operations as i said and gate or gate and not gate these operations defines the behavior of logic gates in digital circuits the algebraic expressions are based on the binary variables and logic operations now coming to the basic logic gates uh, circuits which are used to process digital signals are called as the logic gates uh, gate is a digital circuit with one or more inputs but only one output it should has only one output Uh, a gate can have uh, either one or more output but it should only have a one output okay the three basic logic gates in digital electronics which are used for mathematical operations are and gate or gate and not gate now we are going to see about the symbol truth table what is operation that uh, each gate will do we, are, we will see here coming to the and gate and gate will have uh, two or more inputs but it will have only one output okay it is represented with the symbol here you can see it is represent somewhat like the d okay it performs the mathematical mathematical operation dot or product we will say okay multiplication so we will say 
लाइक अंडगेट डूज ऑपरेशन इफ ए एंड बी आर टू इनपुट अंडगेट कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड एज ए डॉट बी ए डॉट बी हियर दिस इज द ट्रूथ टेबल ऑफ अंडगेट here uh, the inputs are 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 as you all know here it uh, if uh, you have two inputs you can you should have to take in the form of 2 power n the logic behind that is 2 power n if you have two inputs then the uh, number of combinations possible is 2 power n two inputs means n represents the number of inputs if you keep 2 power 2 4 4 in 4 uh operations are possible the those are 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 okay the output of and gate is high when all the inputs are high you here you can see it is high when all the inputs are high if any one of the input is low the output is low this is the operation of the and gate next or gate or gate does the mathematical operation plus okay that's it is represented by the symbol you can see here it is represented like this okay here the inputs are 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 same as the it works on the logic of 2 power n where n represents the number of inputs here we have two inputs okay a nor gate will have two or more inputs but it should have only one output okay the truth table logic is when any one of the input is high the output is high okay in when two inputs if any one of the input is high the output is high if any one of the input is uh, uh, when only both the inputs are low then only the output is low but if any one of the input is high the output is high and coming to the uh, not gate it just acts as an inverter gate we will call it it acts as an inverter gate If you give the input is high, the output is low. If the output is uh, if the input is low, the output is high. Okay, uh, it is represented by the uh, letter complement. Here, this is the symbol to represent the not gate. This is the truth table. It should it will not gate will have only one input and one output. Okay, if when the input is low, the output is high. When the input is high, the output is low. then coming to the universal logic gates nand gate is one of the universal logic gate the nand gate produces the complement of the and gate okay the complement of and gate uh, the complement of output of and gate is known as the nand gate nand gate is used as an uh, universal logic gate okay uh, nand gate can be represented in two ways this is one symbol and this is the other one okay nand gate is nothing but the output of the and gate is connected to a not not gate then the output of that not gate is called as the nand gate here you can see this is an and gate and it is connected to an uh, not gate the output is called as the nand gate okay here you can this is the truth table of the nand gate it is just the uh, complement of the truth table of uh, and gate okay here the logic is that if any one of the input is low the output is high you can see if any one of the input is low the output is high when both the inputs are high then the output is low okay if both the inputs are high the output is low if any one of the input is low the output is high Okay, this is how the nand gate works the nand gate used as an universal logic gate means that nand gate by using nand gate we could able to produce all the three basic logic gates that is by using nand gate we can produce not gate we can produce and gate we can produce or gate this is how okay um, the first circuit represents the not gate okay by using just one nand gate we can produce not gate by using two nand gates we could able to produce and gate and by using three nand gates we could able to produce or gate okay this that is why the nand gate is called as an universal logic gate okay, the next one is about the nor gate nor gate is just an complement of the output of the or gate okay the output of or gate is connected to a not gate then the output of that not gate is called as the uh, nor gate 
Uh, these are the two symbols that are represented as an OR gate. Okay, this is one and this one is one. Just the OR, the output of OR gate is connected to a NOT gate. Here you can see when A and B are two inputs that are connected to an OR gate, the output is A plus B. If this A plus B is passed into a NOT gate, then the output is A plus B bar, which is called as the NOR gate. Okay, the truth table of uh, NOR gate is represented like this. Okay. The logic behind this is if both the inputs are low, the output is high. Okay. If both the inputs are low, the output is high. If any one of the input is high, then the output is low. Okay. If any one of the input is high, then the output is low. NOR gate is also called as an universal logic gate. Okay, by using NOR gate, we can able to produce NOT gate. By using three NOR gates, we can produce AND gate. By using two NOR gates, we can produce OR gate. That is why NAND and NOR gates are used as or called as the universal logic gates. Why? Because means by using those gates, we can produce any basic logic gates. That is NOT, NOR that is not or and and okay coming to the next gate exclusive or gate exclusive or gate okay. for subtraction circuits we use this uh, gate called exclusive or gate it is represented by this symbol uh, a plus and it is rounded off or we can just keep an dot and it, which will be surrounded that okay then coming to the boolean expression it is represented with a dot b whole bar plus uh, a, a bar dot b okay. a exclusive or b means a dot a dot b bar plus a bar dot b this is the output of this is the truth table of the exclusive or gate and this is the symbol to represent the exclusive or gate a and b are two inputs and c is the output C is equal to A exclusive or B. Okay. The logic behind the truth table is that when any one or any one input is high, then only the input is high. If both the inputs are same, the output is low. Okay. Here you can see 0, 0. Both the inputs are same. The output is low. Here you can see both the inputs are same. 1 and 1 the output is low when both the inputs are different then only the output is high if both the inputs are same the output is low then the next gate is x nor gate or exclusive nor gate okay the output if the output of exclusive or gate is connected to a not gate then the gate is called as the exclusive nor gate okay here you can see here a exclusive nor B. If A and B are two inputs, C is the output. Okay. Mm. The logic behind the truth table is that if both the inputs are same, then the output is high. It is just the complement of the exclusive or gate. In exclusive or gate, we will say that if both the inputs are same, then the output is low. If both the inputs are different, then the output is high. It is quite contradictory or it is just the complement of the exclusive OR gate. This exclusion OR gate is just you can see if both the inputs are same, the output is high. If both the inputs are different, the output is low. And the next one is De Morgan's theorem. In De Morgan's, we have two theorems. Okay, A plus B whole bar is equal to A bar dot B bar. Okay, in statement we will say as the sum of complement of two or more inputs is equal to the product of complement of the inputs. Okay, sum for this theorem we will say the sum of complement of the two or more inputs is equal to the product of complement of the inputs. Okay, in circuit we will represent like this. Okay, uh, A, this is an NOR gate, A plus B whole bar is equal to the, this is just bubble done, or you can say A is connected to one NOR gate here and B is connected to one NOR gate here, 
then you will get here a bar b bar if it is going to an and gate then it is called a bar dot b bar okay a plus b whole bar is equal to a bar dot b bar which means that when you do this thing a plus b whole bar here you can see here in the truth table it will matches to this thing like a bar dot b bar here you can see the the input 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 the outputs are 1 double triple 0 here you can see and it is quite equal to the a bar dot b bar 1 and all zeros both are same and coming to the second theorem it is said uh, like uh, a bar a dot b whole bar is equal to a bar plus b bar like uh, the product of complement of two or more inputs is equal to the sum of complements of the inputs the product of complement of two or more inputs is equal to the sum of complement of the inputs here you can see a dot b whole bar is equal to a bar plus b bar as a similarly here if a is going to a not gate then the output is a bar here if b is going to a not gate a bar here or you can just bubble it okay? a, plus, a bar plus b bar okay? here you can see here the output of a dot b whole bar is equal to the a bar plus b bar this, these two theorems are called as the de morgan's theorems next one is half adder okay a logic circuit that adds two bits producing a sum and a carry to be used in the higher position is called as an half adder okay Here, this is the circuit symbol for the half adder you will have only two gates one exclusion or exclusion or gate and one and gate the exclusion or gate is represented for sum and and gate is represented for the carry the truth table for the half adder is like this okay sum is represented with exclusive or gate and uh, carry is represented with and gate coming to the full adder logic circuit that adds three bits here okay in full adder we'll have three bits two bits to be added and a carry bit from the previous addition is added to the third bit which results in sum and carry okay this is the circuit uh, diagram for the full adder Okay. in uh, for some we'll have two exclusive or gates but for carry we'll have two and gates and one nor gate okay this is the truth table of the uh, full adder okay we'll have three inputs a b and c in c in is the third input and we'll have some and the carry okay. thank you thank you for having this session